Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snatus where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my clinical biochemistry playlist where we talk about the biochemistry behind medical conditions. Today we're talking about lactose intolerance, also known as lactase deficiency. So we can divide lactose intolerance into two subtypes, primary and secondary. Primary, I am born with it. I do not have the enzyme for some reason. While secondary, I was born fine, but due to another other disease, I lost my ability to tolerate lactose. Lactose intolerance is common in many areas of the world, and there are some very interesting theories to explain why. But today, we'll just focus on the biochemical basis for lactase deficiency. In the first video in this playlist, we talked about sorbitol, diabetes, diabetic retinopathy, diabetic neuropathy, and cataracts. Then we talked about why I have reducing sugars in my urine, and today we're talking lactose intolerance. In the next video, we'll talk about galactosemia, which is a contraindication to breastfeeding. A baby with galactosemia should not be breastfed. I have three biochemistry playlists on the channel. The first one is about the basics, and then the one called new is very comprehensive. This one is very clinical. Where is lactose, please? Lactose is here. It's a carbohydrate it's a disaccharide. How do I digest lactose? Well, in order for you to digest lactose into galactose and glucose, you need an enzyme known as lactase. So lactose, if it ends in ose, it's usually a sugar, it's a hexose sugar made of six carbons, and if it ends in ace, it's usually an enzyme. So lactase is an enzyme that digests lactose into glucose and galactose. Lactose is here. It's a hexose sugar with six carbon atoms. Why do we call them carbohydrates, by the way? Because they are hydrated carbons. So here is lactose. It's a disaccharide. Thanks to lactase, it will give us two monosaccharides. One is glucose, the other is galactose. And just like glucose can be reduced into sorbitol, galactose can also be reduced into galactitol. These are polyols, i.e. sugar alcohols. If it ends in ol, it's an alcohol. Is alcohol water-soluble or lipid-soluble? Water-soluble, of course, that's why some people can drink it. And this sorbitol or galactitol are osmotically active. They can attract water. Oh, if I attract water to my clear lens, it becometh unclear, called cataract. Probably the most common eye disease ever. Well, maybe the only thing more common will be errors of refraction, if you can consider this a disease. What did sorbitol do? Well, diabetic patients had too much glucose, too much sorbitol, osmotically active, boom, pull water into the lens, cataract, pull water into the nerve, damage it, peripheral neuropathy, pull water into the pericytes in my retina, retinopathy. How about galactitol, which comes from galactose, which comes from lactose, it can also do the same thing. So let's talk about lactose metabolism. Here is lactose, the sugar found in milk and dairy products. By lactase enzyme, it gets digested into glucose and galactose. By galactokinase, the enzyme that adds a phosphate, galactose becomes galactose 1-phosphate. Where did you get that phosphate from? From ATP, adenosine triphosphate. When you take 1-phosphate from adenosine triphosphate, it becometh adenosine diphosphate. Where did you attach the phosphate? To the first carbon of the hexose sugar. Then, thanks to an enzyme known as galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase, look at this uridyl transferase, and you end up with glucose 1-phosphate. So we converted the galactose into its isomer glucose, i.e. You can think of this enzyme as an isomerase. And epimerase is a subtype of isomerases, enzymes. After that, what should I do with the glucose 1-phosphate? Well, if you are in the land of abundance, you can save it for a rainy day, for later. Store it as glycogen, which is a very big sugar. But if you need energy right now, the glucose 1-phosphate can become glucose 6-phosphate, and then you can go to glycolysis to give you ATP, which is energy. You can use it for the now or save it for the morrow. Now let's talk about diseases. Some people lack this lactase enzyme, and this is called primary lactose intolerance. What if I have another disease that affected my lactase or affected my ability to digest and utilize lactose? 
then we call it secondary lactose intolerance or secondary lactase deficiency. Can you give me an example of something secondary? Sure. Where does the lactase enzyme live? In the brush border of the enterocytes of my small intestine. So any disease that hits this area can affect my lactase. Or let's say that I removed part of my bowel surgically. What's going to happen? Lactase deficiency. And this will be secondary because I was not born with it because it has a known cause. Next, some people are born without galactokinase, giving me mild galactosemia, aka galactokinase deficiency. This is less severe than the coming one, which is severe or classic galactosemia where the deficiency is in the galactose 1-phosphateuridyl transferase. Why is this more severe than this? That's a good question. In this disease, the mild one, the deficiency is here. Therefore, who's gonna accumulate and pile up in my body? Only galactose, which is bad. But look at this one. When I lack this enzyme, who's gonna pile up? Galactose will pile up and galactose 1-phosphate will pile up. This is more evil than this. Why? Because this is phosphorylated, i.e. it is trapped inside the cell. It cannot exit. The door can open to galactose, but the door of the cell will not open to galactose 1-phosphate. It will be trapped inside the cell, such as the cells in my liver, the cells in my brain, the cells in my lens of the eye. That's why galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase deficiency is more evil than the mild galactokinase deficiency. Medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. Whether I'm missing this enzyme, this enzyme, or this enzyme, what's piling up in my body is sugar. Sugar is osmotically active, especially if you talk about galactitol, the sugar alcohol. It's gonna attract water, giving me cataract. And since galactitol comes from galactose, you can see cataracts in this disease, in this disease, but rarely with this disease. That's very unlikely. Lactose intolerance. Well, what's happening here is I have a problem with the lactase. I cannot digest lactose into glucose and galactose. Symptoms. Every time I drink milk, milk piles up in my gut because I cannot digest it. And if I cannot digest it, I cannot absorb it. What's gonna happen? Osmotically active, baby. It's gonna pull water to my gut, causing severe osmotic diarrhea. It is awful. Moreover, lactose that I cannot digest is a sugar. Who loves you if you have tons of sugar? Bacteria, because bacteria live on sugar. Bacteria will ferment that lactose for you in the gut. And fermentation produces what? Gases. And that's why you get flatulence, which is the polite doctor's term for farting. My dearest nurse, did my patient pass flatus? Is the nice way of asking, has he farted or not? Why did the surgeon care if the patient farted or not? Because when you fart after surgery, it's a very good sign. It means that the anesthetic drugs are wearing off and you are recovering your bowel movements. It's a beautiful sign after major surgeries. That's why surgeons care about your um, flatus. What is peptic ulcer disease? What are the medications that can help patients with peptic ulcer disease? How can we target the proton pump? What is the proton pump? What are the H2 blockers? Why are proton pumps stronger than H2 blockers? What are the asthma medications? How about serotonin pharmacology? Histamine pharmacology. You can learn about all of this by downloading my Utacoids pharmacology course at metacosisperfectionalis.com. To learn about the different types of insulin and how you can calculate the dose needed for a diabetic patient, download my endocrine pharmacology course. If you do not want to download my premium courses and would rather watch them right here on YouTube, click the join button and choose the highest tier. Please subscribe, hit the bell, support the channel here or here, go to my website to download my courses, notes and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.